Howdy there bushcrafters, it's Sean with Snake River Bushcraft and we are going to make a Dakota fire pit. Now this shelter was fairly warm but it left something to be desired to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and revamp it a little bit with a fire pit. With your Dakota fire pit, you're going to want to dig down about a foot into the earth and trench it out. This trench is going to be an airway for the wind to go ahead and feed your fire even though your fire is somewhat submerged. It also prevents your fire from being seen and lessens the smoke from said fire. So what I've gone ahead and done is grabbed two flat rocks And we'll cover the rest with sticks. And then we'll resubmerge this right here. Now this doesn't have to be fireproof because this is just the way that the smoke is going to get out. There we go, and we've got our airway here, cleared out, and we'll go ahead and get our fire started here in a moment. Truth be told, sometimes when I'm out here, I'm trying new things. I've never made a Lakota fire pit before. Dakota fire pit really depends on which school of bushcraft you prescribe to. <clears throat> There's a couple of different names for this. These smaller sticks will become the smaller coals on the bottom. Now, to go to our trusty pine tree shelter here and get just a wee bit of sap. That pitch will do nicely. Okay. The goal of this small fire is not to keep me warm so much as heat my whole body or something to that effect. It's more of a morale booster, the ability to cook my food without needing to use my isopropyl stove, the ability to warm my hands right when I need to. 